What's going on guys? So today I just want to talk quickly about just a few things, a few tips really to help with uh, your nutrition and with uh, your how you're programming and your exercise goes. So with it, the first thing I want to say, because I feel like this hits home for most people, is going too hard on themselves. So when you have a candy bar or you give in to, to cake because you're at an event or something like that, don't go too hard on yourself and feel like, oh, well, now I can't eat anything for breakfast tomorrow, or now I, I need to consume less for the whole week, or I messed up. But don't just automatically say that, oh, this is a terrible thing, now I must punish myself. You feel like you're doing something good for yourself, but by doing that, by being hard on yourself, but in reality, you're, you're actually uh, making it worse because it's making it harder for you then to stick to um, your nutrition because you feel like it has to be so stringent and so strict when in reality having that extra piece of cake at your 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 whatever nieces or cousins or whatever party that you're at or whatever you're eating that's fine and you should be able to do that there's no reason that you, you you can't because you could just fit it in for what you're eating and that's like as long as you're not having a party every day that's perfectly fine and you can work with that so like just being like it's crazy saying this but just being like easier on yourself is really a huge benefit and it's going to really help uh with trying to stick with your diet now another thing is actually having the trust in yourself that you'll be able to follow through with your diet so some people beat themselves up and say well i didn't do this last um thanksgiving or in the last new year's or whenever you decided uh, you were going to try your approach for bettering yourself. So how am I going to do this this time or whatever like that? I actually believe that when you're on vacation or when you're um, going at an event or doing anything or having these goals for New Year's, anything like that, believe in yourself that you'll be able to go through and complete them. Because if you don't believe that you can, then you're not going to. Because a couple weeks in, a couple months in, you're going to be like, wow, like, this isn't just me. This just isn't me. I don't identify with being someone who goes to the gym. I don't identify with someone who uh, is in shape or anything like that. So that's not me, and I, I should just give up because that's the easy easy way out, right? <laughs> well, for you to identify as someone who does that, you have to do it consistently, and you have to do it for a long amount of time. And the more and more that you do it, then the more and more that you'll feel better about doing it and feel less uncomfortable about doing it. So yes, you're, you're not going to feel great about doing it in the beginning and you're going to feel like, oh, well, didn't do it last time, so I'm not going to do it that time. But if you change that mentality and say, no, I'm going to do this, this is who I am, even if you don't feel like it is yet, then as you do it more and more, it becomes more and more a part of you and you associate yourself more with that and it's way easier sticking with it. And it's really the hardest part is in the beginning with, with a lot of things, but specifically this, but once you're done, and you get past that little threshold and it feels like it's habitual now and it's something that you are with or not are with but something that you resonate with then it's just smooth uh, smooth sailing <laughs> with that but another thing that I really feel um, that is a problem for a lot of people is if they get off track so similar to what I was just talking about with uh, like everything like just feels like like it's over now because they decided to splurge or have cheat days i've said in another video that i specifically have two to three days where i eat whatever i want to eat and there's a lot of different ways that you could go about that like there's different methods as well with just eating when you're hungry it doesn't necessarily have to be even tracking because another thing is with trying to stick with your diet and nutrition tracking may be a problem for you so you could use instead of tracking you could use the uh, the split sections of a plate you could use just going off of what you eat um, or off going off of eating when you're hungry. You could use intermittent fasting. There's so many different things that you could use and you really got to find out by experimenting what exactly fits best to you. But there's so many different methods. So when you go off of whatever it is that you decide is the deep end and you eat bad, like just know that a lot of people regularly do that and they're still going towards their goals because they they own up to that and say this is just a day or this is just two days or this is this three days out of the week but the majority of the time they're not doing that and that's what counts so you really just got to reshape your mentality about it 
And that's really going to help with going forward with your nutrition. So the main thing to hit home here is that 90 to 95% of the time where you're not at these events, where you're not going off of the deep end or doing any of that, that is what matters. That, that, cause that's the large majority of the time. So you trying to nail home those habits during that time. And you probably will be doing that. It's only usually a small percentage of the time that people end up feeling like, Oh, well party or whatever. I'm eating bad. Now I ruin everything. Well, if you change that mentality and say, look, I'm doing great. 80%, 90%, whatever amount of percent that's higher than 50. I'm doing that for the most of the time and I'm doing well, then that's all you need. That's the biggest tip I could tell you for sustainability, and it's what's going to help you in the long term. Stay on that diet and stay with your workout plan is doing stuff that's sustainable and that you like doing. All right, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next.